Alright, so I, being an Ice Climbers player, don't have a great deal of expertise in the matchup we're about to see, which is why we're bringing in Alpha Dash, who has a very, very strong Falco and Fox, and is uh, one of Professor Pro's training partners, so he can drop, drop the knowledge on us. How's it going, Dijon? Good evening, stream. <laughs> Good evening, this kid. What's your name? Me? Alpha Dash. No, I don't. Just know me as Alpha Dash on the mic of the OOC. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we got my dog, Professor Pro. And we've <laughs> we got Falco with the shiz tag. <laughs> you looking a bit shizzy there. <laughs> Who is he playing at the moment? Uh, this is Chain Ace. Chain Ace. The, the tournament host. All oh, right. So he must be doing well to be this far in the tournament. Oh yeah, it's a great player. Is it semis? Uh, I'm not sure. I don't have the bracket on hand. I think it might be. He's taking the first the first stock quite early. Have you played Chain Ace before? I've actually never played him, no. But I'd very much like to. This is the first time I'm actually seeing him play. Because I haven't had a chance to like really follow the American scene that much. Mm -hmm. But he seems to be doing pretty well anyway. Got some shine pressure going on. So every time we have a player from overseas come and play, everyone always wants to talk about PAL and NTSC. What can you tell us about not only the difference between the two, but how it's affecting you guys in coming over and playing? Okay, uh, do, you, do you want the serious answer or what I think? Maybe a little bit of both. Okay, serious <laughs> answer, NTSC broken. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely broken. But, um, you know, it is different, especially with the two characters that's playing on screen now. Um, Falco's down there, that's like one of the major ones. Oh, great um, tech. Wow. Nice. Oh, we've got a chain grab going on. Yeah, so Falco's down there. Um, the spike lasts throughout the whole animation. Whereas in PAL, it has a weak hitbox as well. Mm. So therefore, you kind of have to time your down there. You can't just throw it out. Nice full tilt from Prof. And uh, the difference is with Fox now, he's got a longer up B in NTSC. Uh, he's got a stronger up smash. And that's pretty much it. But those are like the two important things about, uh, about, about Fox anyway. Right. Because obviously it automatically makes his recovery better. And it also makes his kill potential a lot better as well. So how long does it take uh, to get over the, the jet lag, so to speak, of changing versions? To be fair, versions? considering, well, with jet lag, considering I came <laughs> yesterday, like, I'm pretty much over it already. Yeah. So it just depends on if you're, like, used to traveling. Yeah. Nice little prop back in the lead. I think this is the first lead that he's had during this game, isn't it? Uh, you know, he might he might have had one a little earlier, three to two, but it's definitely been really close this whole time. Got those chain grabs. I'm so salty. <laughs> <laughs> chain grabs with eagle, wobbling's not. I know, right? <laughs> nice, got the first game going to Professor Pro. Yeah, sort of started to run away with it towards the second half there. Yeah. You pay commentary though. He's got the second game. Can Prof take this? Where do you reckon they're going? So it looks like Prof might have banned Fountain. Chain Ace takes Quite the risk. Yeah. I'm surprised he's taking him to Pokemon Stadium because it's like pretty much a good Fox stage. You would have thought you'd taken him to Yoshi Story or something. Right. We didn't really get to see how he interacts with the platforms at all, so maybe that's not his style. Yeah, true. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. Sniper. Doesn't get killed. Oh, wow, okay. 
strong opening from Chain Edge. Very strong. I'm actually surprised at what I'm seeing. Chain is playing really defensive as well. And then he's attacking like when he needs to. He's not like he's not over committing. Mm -hmm. So yeah, he's playing really well. See so much pressure between these two. It's like one, they just don't want to get hit. No You're one right. wants to overly commit. <laughs> I'm not surprised anyway. <laughs> Have a nice up smash on first throw. Even in the stock out, but not much percentage. Probably to take as much percentage as you can, really. Nice tech. Ooh, I'm gonna see a string of up here. Hmm. Have you played the PAL version? I've not. You've not? But you got 20XX now, it gives you the opportunity to play like the PAL as well. Right, yeah. But it's so much easier. PAL is, <laughs> is an easier game. Well, for certain characters anyway. If you're playing like the characters who are just buffed in NTSC, then it's obviously going to be harder. <laughs> Laser shines. <laughs> yeah, we'll All right, it stacks even again. This is an even game between these two. And we were at two stocks apiece last game, and then Prof ran away with it. I'll see if Chain Ace can keep his momentum. So I take it Chain Ace is from New Jersey, then. Yeah. Yeah, he's one. He's one of the big tos out here. Where's he rank? Uh, I'm not actually sure. He's, yeah, Jaxel tells us that he's a scrub. That's what our intel is saying. And until we're told otherwise, I guess we have to assume that's the truth. No, Chainies is very good. I think he's a second seed in his Apex pool. Oh, is he? Nice. I don't recall. Thank you. Oh, wow, oh. good tech. You have not tilt. Oh. I want to see some more mountain pressure. <laughs> oh, bro. Ooh, missed oh wow. I think he would have had it if it weren't for that transformation, stopping him at the end of that platform. Oh, oh there it is. He's taking KOs. A little bit of style. Prof takes it. Prof. Who's going next? <laughs> 